Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Tyler. I'm the executive director of the Victoria Theater Arts Center. And with me is world famous and renowned Ice Palace historian and specialist, Bob Olson. Thank you, Bob, for joining us today for the judging of our Minecraft Ice Palace building contest. Woohoo! Um, Woohoo is right. Yeah, we had an amazing event today from 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, today, Sunday, January 30th. We had uh, almost 40 different builders uh, in the in our Minecraft server going in and building and 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 using their imaginations and, and Minecraft skills to build ice palaces. And so Bob, as one of the world's leading uh, experts on ice palaces, is coming in uh, to offer his his um, judging critique on many of these palaces. So I'm going to share my screen here, and we will jump into the server. All right. So here we are in the Arctic biome of the Victoria Theater Arts Center Minecraft server. And I'm going to go ahead and teleport us to the coordinates of entry number one. Um, so here we're gonna get going there and I promise I'll get faster at this as we get moving along here. Uh, so this is entry number one, which is a solo build. Um, whoa, I'm looking, there we go. And I'll zoom back a bit here. So this is entry number one. Oh, wow, that is awesome. Um, yeah, you know, some of the things I'm looking for are things like, you know, is this like a possible to build structure? And, and I'm looking at this and I'm going, this is totally buildable. This is so cool. Um, I love the fact that the builder has done things with the blocks to make them kind of, um, uh, move out from the, the plain surface of the, the building. It's called crenellations. That's really cool. Inside, I'm, I'm really liking this like kind of a maze thing to get back into the building. That's really cool. Great. Yeah, this like feels, yeah. and, and, and full disclosure here, Bob is also, Bob is also my dad. And, uh, um, and, what? and <laughs> um, so, so, because of his connections with the Ice Palace building world, um, you know, I actually have had been able to go into some of the major ice palaces that have been built in the Twin Cities. Um, and, and aside from the stone steps, which I know like if it's a true ice palace, it wouldn't have stone steps. But aside from that, it feels like going in it, you know, it's pretty, pretty actually tight. They're not giant open rooms, at least the ones that I've been into. Um, you know, they're, they're really, um, quite tight around um, because they're the, the ones that I've been into haven't been ones that have been designed for kind of human habitation. They've been much more kind of like sculptural and meant to be enjoyed from the outside. So the fact that this thing has a working interior at all is pretty amazing. Oh, and it looks like I have to fall back down these stairs to get down. So um, well, I, re I really like these, these touches of these blue torches on the sides. Like, you know, they could have had just regular old orange torches, but they went with that blue flame, which is pretty, Pretty amazing. So, um, so like in judging criteria, Bob, what are you what are you looking at when you're kind of judging this thing? Well, I'm I'm, I'm kind of looking at four different things. I'm looking at you know how creative and how unique it is. I'm looking at kind of the Minecraft quality to see if there's uh, you know some real uh, finesse that's been done with that uh, that that program. Um, is there some sort of a theme? Does it incorporate some of the, the uh, old aspects of building, you know, ice palaces that St. Paul have done in the past? And then uh, kind of a real world look, you know, is this possible? Is this a thing that could actually be built? And so again, looking at entry number one here, this is totally something that could be built. Um, it, it has a nod to the past as far as having multiple towers, and um, um, and these kind of uh, Tyler already talked about the interior spaces. Um, I like it. It's just really a cool a cool solution. Awesome. Well done, entry number one. So moving on to entry number two. I also want to recognize in entry number one there there was definitely a magical snowman uh, that was inhabiting the the building, which. Um, 
which is a, a pretty, you know, like I think that truly can only exist in Minecraft. I know, like, was were snowmen? Did they build snowmen in inside these structures, Bob? Not, was that like not in Saint Paul? Uh, you know, there's there are other uh, cities across the world that build ice palaces. Quebec City up in in Canada, they have a big snowman as their kind of main character. He actually lives in the ice palace during the winter. So the fact oh. <laughs> that uh, uh, entry number one uh, kind of uh, did that, either knowing that or not knowing it, uh, really is on to something. So that's very cool. Awesome. All right. So now we're headed to entry number two. Here we are. Oh, Tiger King. Entry number two. Look, there's a sign right out front. How convenient. Ho, ho. Look at this guy. Again, oh. we've got some enchanted snowmen here. But this is a, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna zoom out a bit here just so we can kind of take in this whole structure. Um, there we go. We've, so we've got some pine trees growing out front, looks yeah. like. And, but this is really like very different kind of structure, super open. It is. It, it, one of the things I'm really liking about it is kind of the symmetry that they have. You know, the left side and the right side are kind of the same. It's all mm -hmm. built around this kind of central uh, corridor. It kind of brings us into the building, but at the same time, it could work really well as kind of a facade or a backdrop to some sort of an activity that would occur here. That's really cool. Um, I'm actually quite intrigued by the uh, the arches, the archways that are in the building. Um, that's really cool. That's it. It would be buildable. Uh, it wouldn't look quite like this, but it's totally something that could actually happen. And uh, Tyler, I think are these uh, pieces right here on the left? Is that like super clear ice? Is that what? Yeah, that is? it it appears so. Like I don't know um, the Minecraft materials enough to say what that is, but but yeah, they've definitely like use different kinds of ice. I see like two or three different kinds in place here. Um, and and like that makes me like wonder, like I remember definitely, you know, having seen presentations of yours in the past, um, if there's a, you know, that, that different colors of ice are often in the buildings, whether intentionally or not. Um, yeah. Yep. yep, so that's really cool. Good use of that. It's cool that the inside has been kind of thawed out a little bit. That's That's neat. Um, I like this yeah. little uh, ladder. I wonder where that takes me. Whoa, upstairs, obviously. Climb back here, yeah. Oh, and there's even more. Well, and Whoa. and a lot of the palaces, um, Bob. This is really Minecraft. Although, though, is something that that um, I know you and I have talked about. You know, these giant beacons in the sky. Oops. Um, these giant beacons kind of shooting up into the sky like that is a very Minecraft thing you know like it it feels almost like like the Mirage Casino in Las Vegas um, you know with that giant beacon of light beaming up into the sky kind of letting you know the ice palace is here so I, um, I would love it if the Winter Carnival in St. Paul would do something like this I think it could be just really awesome so yeah. uh, that's that's a really really cool aspect of these buildings that I've seen so far. Yeah, excellent. Um, cool, I'm gonna stop sharing just for a moment here because the Minecraft, um, the Minecraft <laughs> soundtrack is getting a little in my way. I don't know if you can hear that too, Bob, but there we go. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get back into that screen there and get back to our judging here. Um, okay, so. So well done, entry number two, um, for a really cool design, really cool use of materials. Um, really, yeah, yeah, a neat building. It kind of reminds me a little bit, um, Bob, of you know when you're talking about the um, about it kind of being a backdrop for things. Like that was pretty common. I remember, like in 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 presentations of yours in the past, like they're like it, they would have something in back of like a skating rink or something right like that's right they, they would right. often use it for kind of like a backdrop for big public events um yeah yep. well yeah definitely has that feel okay so here we are entry number three okay so let's zoom out a bit here so here's entry number three all right great so this is, uh, I like I like what 
this is um, uh, it. The, the scale of this one is really interesting. It's almost like residential, and of course, mm -hmm. that's what a, a an ice palace is. Is it's a a residence of a, of the ice king, and so you know we really feel like we're kind of going into something and and being like in this beautiful interior space. Are these? Yeah, these are all torches all the way around the. Yeah, building. these that'd candles. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, that'd be yep. really amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the one of the things about this uh, building, and we've seen it a little bit in the other ones, but this one's got a full ceiling in it, and that's pretty hard to do out of ice. Uh, not impossible, but it would actually have to be something that that was curved so that the forces of the ice would be picked up by the wall. So a mm. little bit of a structural issue with this, but clearly really cool, really nice. Can we get on top of the building? Yes, we I'd sure like can. I'd like to see what the top of this looks like, see what's on top of that ceiling. Yeah, well, and that, I mean, reminds me, you know, like often when we talk about like building with building stuff with ice, holy, oh, look, yeah. at this. look at that. Look at this amazingly intricate ceiling yeah. pattern. Really cool, really yep. cool. You can play a game yeah. of chess up here, which I think yeah. is, I think they, they even included in that, in their kind of entry, they called it like the chess, the ice chess castle or something like that. Yeah, um, yep. yeah it's yep. really, really what a like wild roof, roof design here. Um, yeah, but super I awesome. think with a little bit more thinking, a little bit more um, working on the engineering to give us some, you know, force pick, picking up the forces of that flat roof, I think it could be done. Just need a little bit more work on that. Very yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And you often talk about, you know, working with ice is basically like working with stone, right? Like well, I mean, ice, ice is a stone if it's below 32 degrees. Yeah. And, and uh, ice has that kind of interesting property that when you, when you put a lot of pressure on it vertically down, it becomes really, really strong. And so you want to have as much force going down as you can. It doesn't do so well in this plane, and uh, you know mm. it can it can shear, it can crack. Um, so you want it to come down. So yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. We're headed to the next one. Entry cool. number four. Oh, we've got horses here to greet us. Ah. All right. Oh, here we go. So this is called the Ice Age, and whoa! Now we're. This one is totally broken the kind of like rules of the the real universe as far as i can see but but what an amazing structure i'm going to zoom out because it's so tall wow yeah that's this really is, crazy yep yep i mean you can see here i'm going to kind of like swoop around here but you've got the you've got these pillars somehow holding up the top of this i don't even know if there's some kind of anti-gravity i don't know enough about minecraft to know like how that's possible but clearly it is that that there's yeah. some kind of force that's keeping this this part of the building up i mean this is yeah. this is pretty amazing um yeah it's uh, and and i uh, again going back to what tyler was saying earlier about the different colored ice i can see uh colors like are being represented in this particular entry uh actually being able to do that um the ice that you cut out of a river or lake uh, the, the color is dependent on the minerals that are in that water and the algae. And so it can go from like crystal clear to blue, to green, to reds and browns. And so there's a lot of variety that can happen with the, the color. And, and this, this uh, is really exploring that. My gosh, you know, this, that room, all of those little things in the corner or that are holding up the roof, that reminds me of some Frank Lloyd Wright buildings where yeah, it's, yeah, like totally. the, it's like the wall disappears and the ceiling is just sort of hovering that I mean it's a it's a fabulous effect I don't know how you do it but it's right. like really <laughs> incredible really an incredible yeah. look yeah this looks like you know and some kind of arena that's built in here for yeah. for some for some ice boxing or I don't know polar bear wrestling there you go yeah looks like a library here yeah this is yeah super cool um yeah Great. What do we have in here? Oh, we have all kinds of different chests. Let's see if I can open a chest. Normally, when I try to open a chest, I break them out. But let's see. Oh, they're just empty chests. Okay. Or maybe there's treasure in some of them. 
Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. yeah, and I'm noticing here too, like this is the second building that has utilized not only ice, but snow. Um, and and is, is snow structural? Like would snow be able to like hold up some of this weight or, um, yeah. Yes, depending. Okay. Um, if if the if the snow is compacted, if it's rammed, um, mm. it becomes like an iceberg. Um, iceberg is a rammed snow, um, so it it, it you know congeals into ice. Uh, but you know normally the ice block is going to be a, a harder material. Yeah. You know okay. the, what I thought you were going to say about this one, Tyler. It's also one that lives in its own kind of landscape. The, the, you mm. know, the, the builder has kind of put it in a in a yes, setting, totally. which is kind of a uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, for sure. Well, and again, like look at the the kind of care and the roof there. Yeah, you know, like I feel like as far as like um, buildings that have embraced Minecraft, like this is like r the first real contender there, where it's really amazing. Like they they clearly know how to like use the tools of this world to build something that doubtfully could exist in the real world but is an amazing experience in Minecraft. Yeah, so, I, I, so. I love I love being able to think beyond just the the regular box and this is a a building that is kind of doing that and so yeah it, totally it, it forces you to think it, about it in a really different way and yes and the fact that it's sort of hovering up there that's i think that's pretty cool yeah yeah super super awesome so and that, is that like a moat is that a moat or something under or maybe just a plaza in front yeah oh no, it well, looks like it's kind of a moat or yeah i mean it's or, or is it on a river? It's on a river, isn't the whole? Yeah, it's on kind of, of like a yeah, an ice river here. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, see it yeah. kind of being flowing through the whole place there. So, yeah, yeah, okay. pretty, cool. pretty amazing. Um, yep. Yeah, great, 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 great. And we're just four in, and and I should say that <clears throat> all four of the are uh, all of these first four entries um, have been solo builds. So these are you know that's the amazing thing to me, like having not played a ton of Minecraft. Um, but like the, the sheer volume of work that people could do um, in just three hours, like again, folks just had three hours to build this. Um, and, and so like that is pretty miraculous. You know, some of these buildings that, that we've gotten out of it are, are really amazing. Um, and probably a much different time scale than the, um, than the real palaces themselves. What's the, what's the timeline on a real palace usually? <laughs> Um, well, some of them were done on a very, very short leash and some of them were took a month and a half to build. So it really okay. kind of depends, depends on how many humans you have involved building them. Oh, I see. I see. Yes, of course. Um, cool. So here so, is entry number five. Um, so this again is a really monolithic entry. Um, like, oh, and it's got cats all over it too. How nice, how nice resident animals. And there's some art over here. Wow, there's a lot, there's a lot happening in this, in this one. It's got these beacons again, going up into the sky. So yeah, I don't know, Bob, what's the, what do you think about this one? Uh, I, I like your, your words, the kind of monolithic, the, the kind of really solid sort of look. Uh, it's kind of like the the opposite of some th some of the other things we've seen, where it had a lot of of of, of busy work. The the what's called crenellation, where they are you know using the blocks to build it out. This is just like massive. Um, the 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 thing that would be hard about making this in reality is that that the junction between the center tower and the two wing towers. Um, that would have to have more structure uh, in the, the lower tower to hold up the upper towers. Um, I, I would love to see it tried. I think that would be really cool. But yeah. at the same time, the builder has, you know, is pretty smart in that they're showing that the building is hollow. Um, so it's not, it's not a, you know, a solid rectangle, rectangular right. building. It's got, you know, space in it. And and maybe those uh, beacons are actually anti grav stuff too. So maybe yeah, that that's my be... thinking too. You know, this might be like one from the future. I don't know. Um, like, can you hear all these cats, Bob? You probably can't hear no. all the cats. No. So this, I and I'm gonna fall down. Oh yeah, 
there's a lot of cats in this basement. Holy moly. Oh my God. Wow. This is a cat nightmare. So I'm going to teleport out of here because literally all I can hear is cats. But this is a pretty, <laughs> pretty amazing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> there we go. Holy Lord. That was pretty, pretty excellent. I like that so, green. I really like this green. Yeah. 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 That's that's much more the color of the ice from the Mississippi than oh, blue. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. 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 Neat. Yeah. Yeah. This feels like I feel like this feels almost like brutalist in its style yeah. as far as architecture, right? Yeah. Like it feels like something you'd find on some abandoned hillside in Yugoslavia. Yeah. Um but some World really, War II remnant or something. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Really, really cool. Like so much style. Um, yeah. yeah, really excellent. And again, uh, uh, a proposal from a single, single team or a single That's person cool. on the team. Yeah. Um, so that was number five. So moving on to number six, which is our first um, team, our first team entry. So this number six here had three builders working on it. Um, and we'll see what they've got in store for us. Um, here we go. Oh, okay, oh. great. So it looks like we are inside this one. I'm gonna, oops, zoom out again here and see what we have. Wow, okay, so this is huge. This is probably like wow. the biggest, like overall kind of like footprint that we've seen yet. I'm gonna zoom even up higher so we can really see the whole place. Um, yeah, this is an amazing structure. Um, what a lot of ice to build this thing. Um, yeah, what do you think, I'm, Bob? I'm really still just taking it in. Um, again, to use Tyler's words, it really is brutalistic, but it's brutalistic in a different way in that these squares are such a repeated pattern uh, all the way across the building. But there is this variety. Each of the towers is a little bit different. Um, the, the, what I'm considering kind of the backside has, again, maybe just a little bit more of the streamline kind of look, whereas the, what I'm perceiving as the front side has that really very busy, uh, cub cubistic sort of look to it. Um, it, I think I think it probably could have been a stronger building had um, some. I'm, it's like I'm missing a really the, the whole thing is just so big, but I'm kind of wishing there was a big. What are those rabbits? Yep, rabbits running around here. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, well that's cool. Um, you he know, said it was missing oh, a really big something. I, yeah, it's like that that tower you have right there. I wish that was. At the front of the building, a huge one. Um, ah, uh -huh. um, but there were ice palaces like this in the St. Paul's history. And what they were used for um, were big skating rinks inside of them. And so it's not, I mean, it really is what is the what is the function of this particular palace? And it looks to me like they're kind of setting up for a rock concert or something, mm -hmm. you know. And so if it's a venue, if it's a place you're going to to, to do a thing, um, then, it, then it's a perfectly good um, uh, explanation, uh, you know, uh, interpretation of what they're doing. Yeah, I love this, that, that you can see out beyond yeah. the ice in this one. That's really yeah. cool, using yeah. that oh, kind of transparent. Down one of the towers here. So now we're inside the building. So that was- Oh, look at those snowflakes. That's yep. cool. Yep. Yeah, and I yeah, think- Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah, love to is, see an interior like this. Yeah, and this is really a place that you could go in and explore, right? Like, like I think, again, like some of the palaces, like it's one big room and that's kind of like what its big function is. But this is a place that like you go and you spend a day in this palace yeah. and, and really like, yeah, again, just have a great time exploring the, the world that these builders have built for you. This also, I think I'm gonna kind of call out, oh, there's a little like shout out to Among Us, the game there, those of you who play that game. Um, but like this one, I feel like is the first one that's really, um, it feels like it's kind of grown out of the ground. Um, and like, you know, like the, the block patterns are like, 
there's a pattern, but it's still pretty random and kind of like organic feeling. Um, yeah. So yeah. that for me is like super exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And what's um, going on on the left there? What's that? Oop. Which one? Oh, there's some kind of party. There's a there's a horse or some llamas. Looks like some llamas going in there. Yeah, it's a, just like a wild llama with a saddle wow. on it, you know. So. Well, there we go. Yeah. Oh, and there's it's moving at me. You can't hear it, but it's making noises at me. So. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So that that was team entry number six. Yeah, and I think. For sure here, you see the kind of like power of a team in this to build something this massive um, is really, really pretty amazing. Um, and it's yep. just the first of our team entries. Um, so so that was six. Entry seven looks like it didn't um, end up getting built. So they're jumping to entry number eight. Here we go. Oh, we've got some redstone. Um, so. So there's there's all kinds of things here. We've got a toboggan track. Um, I'm trying to get figure out where the palace itself is. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. So I'll zoom ooh, up a little ooh, bit. Ooh. So this is wow. It's a, it's cool. It's really cool in that it is there's there's a balance to the building, but it's asymmetric. You yeah. know, it's it's not a mirror image on one side to the other side. And even like the way that you it appears that you go into the building and mm -hmm. one one time you go into the building this way, another time you go into the building that way. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's really cool. And um, I love the scale of it. I think that the the detail that they the the way they use their blocks to kind of form that up. I think that's a really nice thing. I like the green uh, ice on the top. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. What are all these red things? I don't know. This looks like plants or mushrooms. I Again, I'm not sure, like in, in Minecraft world, but to me, it looks like mushroom, <laughs> mushrooms right in there. And there's a sheep that's very friendly. Uh, there's snowmen up on that, that tower uh, through here. Right. But again, like nice lighting here. Oh, and that's it's the like thing. It's like a throne room here. Yeah, it sure does. Um, climbing up to the top here let's see oh yeah so we're up on top of one of the towers this that's a question bob like oh and we have some kind of sentinel guard up here that was up there to greet us but like we're in saint paul's history was there ever like a time when you could go into the palaces like this and kind of explore around was that ever a thing yeah yeah in fact you could get into all the buildings up until the the late 20th century um okay Starting in about 19, well, with the 1980, 1976, 1986 Ice Palace, they did not allow people in it because of, of fear for it falling on them. And of course, no one's oh. ever been uh, killed by a falling ice block in an, uh, in an ice palace, but that's the society we live in. Yeah. Okay, what are yes, these red sure. things? So this is redstone. Uh, I'm going hit, to hit this lever to try and make sure. Okay, so... What they do is, oh, so those that lever lets us, you know, hit a fireworks box off, you know, the front of this building. So oh, like, that's cool. So yeah, that that's the first kind of like really interactive element that we've seen in a in a palace yet. Um, yeah. Yeah, and you can kind of see the the track of that, you know, that for people who when are it non turns on, it goes around in that. Circle. Yes, exactly. Got it. And then and then I can turn it off again here, and that shuts the fireworks off. So. So oh, yeah, that's, really that's a cool. super cool element. Yeah, and it feels like this is part of the same building here. So we yeah. have like a little cafe area. Yeah, this, this is where I was saying you kind of go into it sideways. So the other one, you went in the front door. This is kind of going on the side. Oh, look at right. that. You've so got like an this is ice cool. Horse. Look, they, they frame that exterior from the interior. So you kind of look at it. And then you yep. have this kind of Swedish horse in it. That's kind of yep. funny. Yep. Yeah, this is a really like this, this one um, feels like the kind of like, this also feels like the most kind of human scale of the yep. palaces we've, you know, this is like, oh, yeah, I can imagine myself exploring this thing, um, yep. you know, in, in the real world. Um, so, yeah, really, really, really cool design. And again, yep. this is a, this was another single, single person entry. Um, yep. So, so really, 
Really excellent. That was entry number eight. Okay, so now we're headed to entry number nine. And let's see what they have in store for us. Well, they have guys walking around on this one too. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nine. Oh, here we go. Look at this wow. thing. Wow. It's got a cactus growing out front. <laughs> an, an ice cactus. An ice cactus, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So, okay, so we've got, so is, again. Is, is that big tower a part of, it is. Yeah, it is. And it's got waterfalls. I mean, this is a, the whole front of this building is a waterfall. Okay. Which is, yeah, that's wild. Um, yeah, and that's, I'll say that like one of the really fun parts of seeing when this, when we first got started here um, was the, um, you know, one of the first things many of these teams did was they did a lot of like terraforming, right? They would go in and they'd blow up the ground, you know, so they clearly had like plans for what they were going to do in here. Um, but this one is like by far, so this says, welcome to the ice palace on the front of it. Great. We've got a pen full of magic snowmen here, a bunch of like, looks like Cerberus, the, the, the guard of Hades. Yeah. Down there. So, so we've got a lot going on here, but let's take a, a look inside. Hello. Take a pic with the king. Oh, so they've got like a selfie station built oh, right in yeah. here to the front of it. Um, Oh, I'm inside the water. Okay, I better not get too wet. I'll freeze to death. Um, but, but again, like really, a, like really charming, really a charming place. Yes. Um, and again, I love the fact that they're playing. Look at how you're looking up through the ceiling. Yep. And seeing the stuff that's on the roof. That's really cool. Yes, that's really really cool. Um, yeah. One of the things just, I really like about this entry is uh, all the floating stuff. I don't, I didn't mm -hmm. quite understand it from the outside, but I was able to just get past that and go, I don't have to understand it. I can look at it as just kind of the, um, the, the, the components of, you know, how it was thought out, you know, this yes. has to go here and this has to go there. I really like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's go in here. Oh, so we've got more of these kind of like hounds down here. Yeah. Um, yeah, really like, again, I feel like, a, a group that really embraced kind of like the possibilities of Minecraft in their in their structure. Oops, I'm caught in this waterfall now. Um, but the, I wonder, can I just swim through it? Yeah, I sure can. Wow, so that's cool. I can just swim through that. So let's just take a look at these kind of upper decks of this thing. Yeah, look um, at those. You know, I'm, so this, I, I'm trying to figure it out and at the same time I'm going, I don't have to figure it out. Yeah, uh, well, well, there was some treasure chests in that one too, wasn't there? Yes, there are. Yeah, all kinds of different treasures. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. So they put yeah. those up on uh, in the in the the tower itself, which was kind of yep. cool. Yep. Oops. How did I? Where did I end up here? I don't know. I that end... cactus on the roof, though. What in the world? I went into some kind of portal. So I don't know if that's something that they built into that castle, but I am now obviously. <laughs> in a very different environment wow so they may have built like kind of a little teleport trap in there um for people who are exploring so that's really funny um and again only in minecraft but um yeah. but but really excellent work um that was team nine uh, again a single person entry so so now um team 10 is where we're headed next to see their palace um yeah, that's the first of that and probably not the last of those kind of trick te teleports that were left in there for us. Okay, so here we go, team 10. Wow. Okay, oh, holy moly. Okay, so let me get up into the sky here. So this, here's that building from the front. So, Again, what a huge, huge building. And this was a, a, a team of two building this thing uh, in the three hours that they had to build. Um, so, so the thing that is so interesting about this building, well, there's several things. First of all, again, monumentality, something really um, uh, 
bigger than life size. You know, it's mm -hmm. built for, for something that's much bigger than us humans. Um, yeah. This is one that has, though, a real sense of drawing us in and, uh, you know, a pathway and a rival, which is uh, some pretty interesting um, uh, psychological things you can do with real architecture. And so based off the 2018 Winter Carnival Ice Palace, oh, okay, cool. Right, so that was the yeah. one in Rice Park, right? Is that that's yeah, the one I'm thinking that's about? That's right. Yeah. 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 And and so what's interesting, you know, just kind of like putting two and two together here, one of the, the first sign was like, this is a group of like 12 and under builders, right? So this was a couple of couple of builders who are 12 and under building this thing. And they're saying it's based off the 2018 Winter Carnival Ice Palace, which- But it's so of, different. It's yes. such a different expression. In fact, I think in, in a way it's more successful than the, the, the real palace and it's because it has such a presence and yeah you know you, and there are these ideas like just the way the i'll call them doorways um yeah uh the the architectural term is fenestrations the the fenestrations that you can walk through they're repeating patterns and they mm -hmm. even repeat in that wooden structure that's outside that's yep. really good thinking um yep. you know yep. it, you're you're creating that environment and uh, it's just really awesome. And again, carrying that through, was, oh, hello there, polar bears. Yeah, we uh, got <laughs> go, go up to the, the ceiling, Tyler. If I saw it, yeah, this is a ceiling that could actually happen. Um, you know, if the building was massive enough, those steps are holding in the, the roof. And so that's totally buildable um, yeah. at, at, at a scale. Um, right. Right. So that's really um, sophisticated. That's really yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, amazing, amazing submission here. Yeah, and I'm gonna just go up because I'm realizing more and more that people are, you know, putting a lot of time in the roof. Yeah, look at the roof of this thing, right? Yeah. Um, again, and, really- And again, talking about this, no, no, go back. You have to go back. Going back to the structuring of this thing. So you have all of that, that roof shell that's pushing out. It wants to go like this and fall down. So what they did to kind of keep it from falling down is put these really giant uh, corner columns on there that pick up all that weight and bring it down to the ground so it doesn't like crash out. Mm -hmm. So again, really great engineering. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah, cool, very cool. Yeah. Excellent. And I like the different colored blocks on the top too. That was yeah, cool. totally. Yeah. Again, using snow in a non-structural way, but a really intentional decorative way. Um, yep. Yeah. Really pretty, pretty excellent. Um, okay. So now back to another single, single uh, entry to, that was 10, right, Bob? Yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to 11. And... Okay, well, I don't know where I am. Hmm. This does not appear to be an ice cat. It's quite palace. lovely, though. It is. It's a nice break. Uh, I'm certainly happy to warm up. Uh, let's try <laughs> these coordinates again for 11. Uh, uh, um, that is... Negative one four two and sixty eight six seven nine. That's where we are, huh? I'm not oh, sure. Around. Maybe it's behind us. Yeah, I feel like no. This is definitely not an ice palace. This is a, a village somewhere. Um, so I'm not sure what happened with those coordinates. We may have to to find. Um, so we're going to jump to 12 and and see what's in store for us there. Bum, bum, bum. I wish you could hear all these farm animals talking to me, Bob. Um, okay, now we're back in the world of ice. Okay, so here is entry. This is entry number 12. Oops. 
All right. So again, another very like human scale building. Yeah. Uh, again, I really like, oh, oh, that's really, okay. So this is really cool. I build buildings like this, where if you look at this facade, this, this front and go to the other, go to one of the other sides, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Going around, we got a tree. Yep. Well, and actually, I would even say the tree is a part of that building, and they kind of yep. and, and so so that other side was really solid. This side side's got the tree and the big thing. This has yep. got all of this action that kind of is in front of it. Yeah, and then this one is just kind of like nineteen twenties modern. It's just yeah, yeah. So very clever, very clever use of different kind of. Um, they, each of those kind of get a different emotional uh, impact to me. So here we have yeah. what looks cool. like a bedroom on the top. So oh, yeah, bed. look at that. Yeah, you could totally sleep here. Look at the stars. Yeah. As you sleep, Whoa. you can see. Oh, yeah. that yeah. is so awesome. <laughs> that is really awesome. Like, what a smart place to put your bed using the beacons from all the other palaces yeah. as kind of like your backdrop up there. That's pretty Whoa. awesome. That's really, really cool. smart design. Really smart design. Yep, we've got flowers growing in here. Some, again, really, really human scale. Like you're walking around in here and you're like, I could I could imagine walking around in this building. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, really great. So, and we have something, uh, uh, some sleeping, something's on the ground. Um, so that's, this is, this says entry 14. So I just wanna make sure that uh, we get we that record. 13? 13, yeah. This, so so we'll check. I'll I'll go to the coordinates for entry 14. Um, but this is record this as 14 um, because right. that's what they have written out front. Um, so we'll head to to 13 next. And I had originally had that as 12, so okay, great. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 13 we don't have at all. Um, so okay. maybe 12 and 14, we'll see what where we what we find it, what is marked as 14 on my coordinates here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this says registration number 12. So we should mark this as 12. Okay. That's the sign they have on their on their building here. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom up and zoom out. Holy moly, this is huge. Again, this looks like a, an arena of some kind. Like, look at the size of this building. Oops, oops, uh, again. Go, go all the way around it. Yeah, I'm trying to zoom up a little bit so we can kind of see it really fully. Like I'm not even to the outside edge of it. This is huge. This reminds uh, me of, I remember hearing one time when I was in Berlin, I had friends telling me about like a, a place they had built to like build blimps, you know, and it was so big, like it had its own atmosphere. And, and this feels like that kind of place. Like it's humongous. Yeah. 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 Okay. So now we're going to, now we're inside and yeah, yeah it, Okay, so one of the questions I had from the outside is this this tower that's in the middle of it mm -hmm. kind of looked like it had a um, a bit like the roof was open around it, but I don't see that in here. I see no, it, it doesn't look like it in here. Yep, no. it looks like it's solid, so it's structural. Um, is yeah. this span possible with ice, or does this feel like it's too much? Uh, it, it that this is a real stretch. Yeah, okay. it, it'd be quite difficult to do that. But I love the I love the look of it. Um, yeah, yeah. And okay, interesting structure at the bottom of the tower. It's got it's like four legs that are really just two. It's yeah, it's just curious. Right. Yep. And these yep. beacons again. Can you look up? Yeah. From totally. There? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, these beacons are pretty like amazing amazing addition to this, the world of ice palaces. And, and it, maybe at the, the end of this, we'll, we'll make it nighttime and see what it looks like in the dark. Oh um, yeah. Like so one of the things that that particular building could work as, work for, 
is like a museum mm. um, where, you know, you, you need to have that kind of controlled um, uh, environment and you do stuff with lights to kind of bring it alive on the, mm -hmm. on the inside. Yeah, cool. And you've got a nice view up here of all the other palaces. Yeah. Um, so that you could have, you know, if you could have safely have people up on the roof and it wouldn't collapse, you would have a really fun time up there. Um, okay, moving on to, looks like our next one is entry 16 because we've gotten 14 now and um, and there was a, we had a no-show in there. So we're, we're heading to entry 16 next. And again, this was all built in three hours, which is kind of the mind blowing thing for me um, is that, oops, I'm getting lost in my iPad over here, um, is like all of this, all of this work happens, you know, being in there during the building was really awesome to see like these teams just laying down these bricks, like real, or these blocks, I should say, really so fast. Okay, so let's get into the sky here. Okay, so Whoa. here we are, entry 16. So this okay. has got, yeah. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can kind of look at above. So this thing's got a stone roof on it. And, and did they ever mix materials like that in ice palaces? Was that kind of a... Uh, not in St. Paul. Well, yeah, they did in St. Paul uh, in, in uh, 1992. The palace had fabric, um, like tents on the top. Of oh, the yeah. yeah. Uh, that added color and they kind of waved a little bit. That was kind of nice. Uh, yeah. the, the ice palace in Montreal had uh, pine boughs for a roof, which oh. was really cool because it, so you have these really hard surfaced um, walls and then a shaggy roof. That was kind of yep. interesting. Yeah. Um, okay, so this it looks like it's a residence again. That looked like a Yes, bed. totally. Yep. Yep. Maybe the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the throne. Yep. Some art here. Yeah. All kinds of different lights. Oh, those, there's the light switch. Let's, I'm gonna turn the lights on. I'll turn them on. Yeah, see what happens. Can I get it? Eh. I don't know if I can turn them on. It's too low for me. Can I just hit this thing? No. Hmm. There we go. Lights. Whoa. I, did, I didn't notice a difference. Did you? I thought I th saw some things glow that didn't glow before. Oh, we just turned them off. So now we now they're on. Oh, I see. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Some, yeah. So just kind of a cozy little hideaway here. Yep. That you could come and take a break from all of your crazy outdoor shenanigans in. Yeah, now it's interesting that the builder didn't um, replicate the triangle on the inside of the building yeah that might, that might have been an opportunity to kind of you know ex, kind of look and explore about how that worked together those, yep. those yep. three triangles in a row yeah for sure but a cool really cool building and, and, and a very different style from a lot of the ones yeah. we've seen yeah so far uh all right so that was what did i 16 so now we're on 17 another solo um, oh, let's get a get our right name here. Oops, there we go. Okay, going to coordinates for number seventeen. Okay, a lot of snow on this one. Oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, I I like this. Um, this reminds me of like New York City uh, sort of Art Deco setbacks. Um, uh, it meets the IDS Tower in downtown Minneapolis, where every office has like a a, a corner window. 
Uh, that's really cool. And again, it gets its power from the repetition of doing it not once, but it appears like it's four times, five yeah, times. Yeah, totally. And so that that gets to be a really strong statement when you do yeah, that. Yeah, totally. What's happening? Are these people? What What about these? Yeah, there, I don't. There's some kind of figures here, and this might be, like, yeah, I don't know who this is. Like, and and again, I'm out of the Minecraft loop, but it's definitely some kind of like floating like entrance tower. Um, so okay. that's really, yeah, really fun. Um, let's take a walk around inside. I mean, this is, we've got flags. We've got here, so 17 snowflake palace. palace. I had a lot of fun, right. And we've got two bunnies, oh, queen and king. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Are the queen and king of this palace, how lovely. Yes, um, that's good. Amazing, amazing. King Boreas welcomes you to the Winter Carnival. There, good good name drop there. Yeah, um, yeah. Enter, oh, so we've got a snow maze. Here's our first one, or ice maze. Here's our first one of these. Dare oh. I even go into this thing to get lost immediately? I'm gonna cheat and fly out of this thing. Um, wow, look, look at, at that. that, that's cool. That is really cool, yeah. And again, you know, I think like, the, the the kind of contest was around building an ice palace, but but I think like this this piece of it, you know, like palaces had mazes in them, right? Like right. that was a well, it, that it was creates an, element. an yeah. entertainment. There's yes. an entertainment aspect to it. Yes, totally. And it's not just about the building; it's about kind of the whole experience. So right. yeah, this is oh, and look at these details. Hold on, I need to go back up again. Oh, and it's got like a kind of picnic area on ice, you know, snow blocks out front here. Yeah, That's yeah. really, really nice. The the kind of tops of these towers are really. Oh yeah, yeah. These, I love those. Like, yeah, there's snow light, light fixtures of some sort look like yeah. big snowflakes. Yep, yep, cool. And again, like playing with different colors of ice here in the top of it. This one really reminds me of that 92 palace um, that they built when we had, when the Super Bowl was in town. Like this really feels like, you know, that just kind of big open wall structure and really yeah. like really, yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. Um, and again, yeah. like that, the whole environment, you know, they, I think they really paid attention to like, what would we do when we were at the ice palace, right? So they've got a bonfire going here. They've got snow, uh, a snow person out front. You know, they have some kind of minecart ride. Oh, I'm running into something there. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, it must just be a protection for that snowman. Um, and then these folks, I don't know what they're looking at me. I don't know what they're doing there, but um, they're a part of some kind of track system there. So, so again, like, these people were like, okay, you're gonna visit the ice palace, but but you need to do something else too while you're there. And um, yeah, I think like, as far as like a palace I could imagine at the winter carnival, this is absolutely one that I would see really yeah. um, being a part of that experience. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, neat. All right, on to the next one. Um, okay, that was, what did I say, 17? 17. Okay, great. All right, so next we've got 18. Uh, let's get ourselves over there. Two coordinates. Um, negative 62, 76, and negative 673. All right, Ice Stone College, or Cottage. Welcome, oops, welcome to, to my entry in the Ice Palace contest. So right away this beacon, oh, okay. So this is definitely a mix of ice and stone. Um, yeah, we got bunnies out front. We've got like a path of ice on the way to the doorway, right? And again, we got chains. I don't know if this, this looks like it would be a drawbridge, but it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oh, there's, you can get some ice skates on. From that one, that's really like hospitable. Cool. Oh, and look at these like icicle kind of like stalactites hanging off the ceiling. Again, yeah. this is really cool uh, that, you know, we saw that shape on the outside of the building. We go inside the building, we see that same shape and you yep. kind of go, oh yeah, yeah, I'm there. Yep, yeah, really excellent. This, yeah, tables again, you know. 
Oh, really look, like at that, look at that view. That's so cool. Yes, it's really because beautiful. Because not, not only does it have the big, the big um, uh, structure out there that's really massive and drawing me in, it's got these very delicate little icicle things. Yeah. And just all of it just makes me want to go out there and see what's there. That's cool. Yes, totally. Well, let's go out there and see what's there. Um, wow. So like, whereas that like first part was really like kind of like cavernous. This one yeah. is really um, like the, the outside of it or the backside of it is really open. And like, again, like a place that I can imagine hanging out with friends outside, you know, by a bonfire or just like chilling out after kind of going to the carnival all day. And again, like really utilizes this view really nicely, right? It's yeah. looking out yeah. onto this kind of ocean out here, um, yeah. which is really pretty pretty awesome and oh we've got everything sleeping here still too that's really <laughs> nice <laughs> it, i i would love to to try to figure out how you could build something like this because yes um you know these kind of let, let's call them bridges in between the towers they're just so ephemeral they want us to we yep. really want them to exist and i yeah i don't know how how that would work but i you know i seen it for 30 seconds so i'm not yeah, gonna have look all at the this, answers look at this view like what a cool yeah. little thing you know i mean again to put this window in here you right know there. it like pulls you in yeah it's really like what like what beautiful design um you know and i think like that's a thing that i didn't, hadn't even considered like going into this contest is kind of like citing where these castles these palaces would go but like there was remarkable attention paid to that um yeah and it just absolutely like shows you know when you get to something like that and you're like oh what a cool little feature that you know took a you know took a while to build and and absolutely adds to the experience of this thing so so this is really I mean, again, really meticulous detail. You know, I look at like these kind of like raised, like every other kind of raised stuff along this roof line. I mean, yeah. really, really amazing um, attention to detail on this thing. Yeah, this is this is really awesome. Cool. So that was um, 18, 18, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So we're on to our next, our next one. Um, this is a team entry. Um, Let's find out what they've got in store for us. Uh, let's go up here. Two. Let's see if it's saying it's incorrect, but we'll see if it gets us there. Uh, uh, um. Oh, okay. We're on the roof. There's a bunch of snow people. Howard, the snow people all have names. That's nice, or at least that one did. They're wow. smiling. Yes. Yeah, they are smiling in a kind of creepy snowman way. <laughs> okay, let's let's zoom out of this thing and see what we got. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know this. No, that's not part of the same. That's no, the we're same looking at we're looking off. at eighteen there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. There we're back. Yeah. Okay. So. So this is nice um, that they have the smaller towers in front, larger towers in the back. Mm -hmm. So as I stand in front of this, I'm looking kind of up and over the the back of the building. That's cool. Yeah. yeah like that. That's really nice. Really yeah. nice. Awesome. Yep. What happens when we go inside? Let's find out. So we got some snow people sentries here yep. and a bunch of glowing things. We can go in this door. Well, here, let's explore the ground level before we start opening doors here. So again, wooden steps, um, which like technically aren't ice palace, but I like that they kind of like offer a little like kind of um, visual interest, right? Otherwise those steps would like blend right into the wall, but that, um, you know, the fact that these steps and doors are wood, it just makes it so it's not quite just like all one kind of color palette you're looking at. Um, yeah. Oops. Oh, no. Back down. There we go. Um, okay. So I've got a, a ladder up here up onto this tower. Great. Another kind of snowman sentry up here. Yeah. So really like a pretty simple um, yep. structure. 
or like design with a lot of like, impact yeah with a lot of impact like really i mean again it's not super flashy but really has a lot of presence in the I, place you know i i have noticed multiple doorways that occur at corners mm -hmm. rather than it being a, on a wall the doorway is the corner yes, which is pretty yes. cool yeah i agree totally yeah and again if this they only one, built think, houses this way it would be much yeah. more interesting yeah totally um yeah i think this one will be really cool one at night too so so we'll we'll make sure we we'll scope that out um all right moving on so that was number 20 no that was number 19 so right. now we're on to 20 okay And we're headed that way. Okay, whoa, we teleport to inside somewhere. Okay. And some waterfall action. Yep, let's see what this thing does. I don't know what it did, but we're gonna find out, I suppose. Okay, so this was is kind of like an ice cave built into this. I'm seeing if there's anything more here. Okay, so there's something there. So this is really like um, taking advantage of this kind of like the natural landscape. It and they like went into the ground which I don't know, even know if that would be possible in the winter, but in Minecraft it is. So let's see if I can right. get back in there and figure out. Another yeah. building that that has, that where landscape is, is uh, uh, in the same uh, importance level as the building itself. Right. Okay, let's open this chest here, maybe, oops. Oh, so they've they've definitely, loaded a treasure chest full of diamonds. I think this is an attempt to bribe the judges. Uh, ah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. That was a good bribe. Um, what's down here? Like, can I get down here? Um, just like, yeah, really, like, again, building Looks ice. Looks like drawings the of the inside of a pyramid that I've seen. Oh, yeah, totally. And can I hit the switch here? No. Okay, great. Well, there we go. So not super ice heavy, but definitely like one, again, the first one that we've seen that's kind of like really burrowed into the landscape um, and, and utilize that as its kind of like main feature. All right, where to next? Let's see. So that was number 20, right? And so now yep. we're on to um, 21 does not appear is there. So 20, Two is where we're headed next. Okay. Oops, there we go. And let's see what it's got in store. One, two, five. Um, seven, seven, one, five. Great. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is this was um, one that you you could see from the distance. And I'm going to back way up because this is like kind of a new level of of palace than what we've seen so far, as far as like use of color. Um, this is, looks like a giant candy cane and is really a wild structure. So it looks like it spans all the way back to here. Got multiple beacons, multiple levels. Yeah, this one we're gonna have to get down to ground level and explore to check it all out. It almost looks like it's two buildings. It's the building yeah. that, that houses the red and white tower but then there was that other thing behind it that, to me at least, kind of looked like the power plant. Yeah, sort of totally. was the the power for the place. Oh wow! Yep. So this has got like a hot tub, kind of in the middle of it. <laughs> Sounds and again, good. Like multiple levels here. So this gets down to these beacons in the basement here. A whole kind of like passageway here. Wow, it just keeps going down. Another beacon down here. Okay, now I gotta find my way back up again. Um, there we go. Oh, great, some some greeters. 
coming through here. Yeah, so again, built a lot of infrastructure for a lot of these beacons and stuff to kind of be possible. And, but let's get up into the main body here and see if we can find, is this the way up? I think so. Oops. Eh. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. I got to find my way out of this. So we've got an unintentional maze or maybe intentional. Um, I might do, I just teleport myself back up to the, the main uh, level up here. Uh, 69. Okay, so here we are outside it again. So let's have a look up. Yeah, I mean, this building is humongous. Um, yeah, oh, look at the I, artwork on the, the walls in there. Yes, totally. Was that a thing ever done? I don't remember any pictures. Like, I remember like snow sculptures and ice sculptures, but bringing in like actual some, art. Some of the old palaces from the 1800s had sculptures and some stuff embedded in ice blocks. Oh, okay, cool. Including fish. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by this red and white tower. Yeah. And, and to me, I'm wondering if it is um if it's actually ice or if it's snow and something else right what it is um and the reason i guess i'm focusing on it a little bit is that a tower like that out of ice would be difficult um mm. it would be, it'd be difficult because um ice um when it when it is again it's strongest when it's vertically the pressure is going like this but when you get that going in there, you have the wind that is kind of going to be affecting uh, it. Uh -huh. And also um, the, the sunlight on one side of that building will actually cause it to tilt toward the sun. Oh, too really? much information, but wow. you know, it, it could cause some structural issues. It'd be really cool. Um, yeah, but that that's kind of why I'm saying I wish I knew what that material was what material it is yeah and I do want to note that however though something and I saw the the, the builders trying this when they were going but I think I can and let's see if I, I if I, there is a track here that it looks like you could put a mine cart on and roll it and I'm not going to throw a mine cart down because I always break the track when I do it but let's see what's down at the bottom of this. Oh, so there's a pond down here. Okay, so I'm gonna do it sans, sans mine cart um, and see what happens if I just jump off this and I end up in this block of ice. <laughs> <laughs> this is like that Red Bull flu, whatever event, flu, flu tog, was that what it was called? I don't remember, you're right though. Where you end up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, jumping off like this crazy snow or ice jump. Yeah, um, and, and it kind of takes me back to, I forget what year that was, the, the um, year where they built the, um, the toboggan slide down the hill, you know, like those kind of daredevil activities were certainly yeah. a part of it all. Yeah, um, well, and again, it, it makes the building uh, much more, comes alive much more because you can do something in it. Yes, for sure. Rather than just observe it. For sure, yeah. And this is called the Candy Cane Tower was the name of this palace. So yeah, super, super cool and really visually striking. Like, oh yeah. my goodness, what a what a thing. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe it's made out of candy. I don't know if that's possible. We'll have to get like a candy building expert in here. <laughs> <laughs> All like right. That. So we've got, um, that was 22. It looks like we have three left to look at. So there are, just shy of 25 built for the, you know, in the, in the, the event itself. So here we go to the next one, uh, 40, 83, great. Okay, whoa, okay, so this is built on the edge of this like big pine forest. Um, that's really cool already, again, you know, utilizing the landscape in a very different way than other ones we've seen. We're just going to zoom out a bit here to oh, see yeah. what we got. Okay. So oh, this interesting. One, yep. So here's a building that's very symmetrical. It's got yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That's really 
that's such a, a a backdrop to something that you you know whatever's happening there uh, yeah. at the ground level. It's very human scaled, um, and so that that's really cool. Again, it it draws draws us in. We want to go in it. Yeah, and yeah. so. <clears throat> Uh, the Fire what... King's Return, it's called. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Oh, and yeah. this is kind of cool. So the outside of this doesn't make you think you're going to see this kind of interior. Where no, not at all. Of, um, uh, stuff that's not symmetrical. That's cool. Yes. An yes. unexpected surprise. Yeah, for sure. Like this kind of really like patterned ground. And yeah. And, yeah, and again, like what is this? Some kind of like some structure up above our head there. I love like, these uh, white things hanging down. Look at that, yes. that's really cool. Yeah, really, really like artistic in design. Oh, I see, this is like a sentry. Do you see this, Bob? Yep. Like yep. this is a snow sculpture of a guy holding a big flag uh, or a person holding a big flag, I should say. Um, and so, yeah, that's a really like cool element inside this building. Let's see, there's a ladder I can climb up here. I'm gonna go on up. See what I find at the top of it. Okay, so that gets me up to the top of this tower, which is really, again, it gives me an amazing view of like this forest, kind of a really great 360 view of just the world around us. And if you're watching this and you're going like, what about that tower there? That actually was built before the contest by one of the, the judges um, as just kind of like an experiment in this Arctic biome. So, um, so, so can you bring us out to the front of this building again? Yes, absolutely. Oh, there's that sentry guy again. Yeah. yeah we, now we can see. So there is, there is a part of this that is reminiscent to me and it, whoever designed it should look it up. The first parliament building in Australia was done by an American architect whose name is Walter Burley Griffin. And for whatever reason, this reminds me of that building because you have these kind of like very um, uh, classical columns across mm -hmm. the front of it. And then you have these towers and then you just have these repeated kind of we'll call them snow features on the inside. Uh -huh. I, there's just something really kind of, um, uh, again, I'm using a word Tyler's used organic about it that I, I really kind of like. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really taken by these, oops, by these big figures in here. Yeah. You know, this blue one out of ice and then the two snow ones in the back, but they're all different, you know, like one's yep. kneeling, one's standing, like really like amazing attention to detail in this, yep. in this palace, especially. Yeah. Yeah, really, really cool thing. And two kind of big polar bears out front, polar bear statues. Yeah, it's it's got got a lot going on. And again, the site of this is is really spectacular with this big pine forest in the background. So, um, yeah, awesome, awesome, and really exciting. Um, all right, on to entry number twenty four. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. All right. So this lands us right at the entryway into this. Holy moly. Wow. And again, this is built by one, one person. So, so first of all, hold, hold on. There's, oh, there's a warming house. That's very nice. Before we even go into there, we get to go in and, oops, I don't need to use gravel on that door. I just need to open up. So this is a, just a cozy little shack out here. Wow. Super cool. Okay, but let's get Ice back rink, to looks yeah. like an ice rink. Yep, right out in front of it, totally. A real sense of, of, of movement to it and bringing yeah. you up to it. Um, yeah. Wow, yeah, super really, cool. Yeah. The spaces for as big as it looks on the outside, it looks quite small on the inside. Yes, totally, totally. Which, which again, like brings me back to, you know, and I said this right at the beginning of this, like the, those kind of like, when we actually toured the actual palaces, for as big as they seem outside, there's not a lot of space inside because they're not really built for people to be inside them. At least now they're not. Right, um, right. So all of these steps coming up here, again, those nice blue torches, really, you know, Again, really paying attention to views, 
Like you've got this huge view of like all the other palaces. That's pretty awesome. And then going up here, up the steps a bit more. Great, all the way up to the top. We've got a snowman waiting for us up here to welcome us. And yeah, just a big, just a huge, oh, again, like views up at the top of this tower, 360 views of the whole, hi, Mr. Snowman, of this whole, like you can yeah. see all the palaces. Yeah. Re again, really paying attention to like the experience of the, of the user, of the person touring the palace. So that's that's pretty excellent. Can I jump so, out this window now? Yeah. Again, go back to the uh, uh, passage <laughs> up to the building. Oh, uh-huh. This one down here? Oh, oh, just out I mean, okay, you're coming, uh, your, your yes. entry, as you yep. enter into the, the palace grounds. Going down, I'm gonna jump off this balcony here and get myself, oops, back out there. Do, 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 there's the warming house. Great. There yeah. we are. Back so up. on on the outside, this reminds me of like um, almost medieval kind of town. Uh, and I'm thinking of like Bohemia or the Czech Republic or Transylvania mm -hmm. where um, uh, the cities, the cities were actually fortresses too, because they were always worried about being raided. And so mm -hmm. there's this sense of real enclosure and safety that's yeah. about it. Um, and it just, it just has that massive feel to it. Yeah, this yeah. is a huge, a huge building. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, just mass. Look at the way the, but look at the, how, look at the, again, I'm using the word fenestration. Look at the way that the windows, even though they're not yep. windows, how how that that surface has so much life to it because yes, totally. of the way they kind of do the the blocks. Yep, yep, really. And again, like really nice use of like different kinds of ice, like huge amount of planning into this building to make this yeah. possible. Yeah, awesome. Really cool. Yeah, awesome. All right, and. To our final entry, so this is number 25. Hmm. We'll try that again. Two, 89, 63, and there we go. All right. So Firework Castle, this is called. So maybe I'll back up so we can check out the whole thing here. Oh, OK. So this has got a color changing beacon. We haven't seen one of those yet. Um, oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Cool. And so this is, again, again a, very a very human scale. Human scale. Yep. 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 Exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Really. Really cool. A big Giving, kind of giant oh. out front taking care of it. Oh yeah, a couple of big giants kind of loaded into the front of this thing. That's awesome. So let's take a walk inside and see what we find. And I like the green ice a lot. Yep. Oh, somebody here tending. Oh, there's a there's a, a jam and soundtrack in here, Bob, you should know. Okay. Um, yep. Great. There's that big beam. Yeah. So, so kind of a party house, it feels like. Yeah. Couple that's big what drones. I, yep. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Those are that's really, really cool. cool. Again, using, using Minecraft to kind of like really make the space. So, yeah. Just again, like a really, uh, uh, like I can imagine this kind of building being built for the carnival, right? It seems very buildable. Yep. And and is also a place that you'd go and visit. I mean, if they let people inside them, uh, are, they would. It would be a really what, cool. What's thing. making these pink things jump up and down on top of the towers? I don't know. I think it, they, I'm not sure what those are, but they're amazing. Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah, and they're also very loud. Like if I get near them, you can't hear it, but it's like a giant drum beat, and it looks like 
something here. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to turn these, like pull this trigger on these fireworks. I don't know where this redstone goes, but you can see there, there's a, a something that's ready to shoot fireworks out. I just have to figure out how to do so. Whoa, that's inside oh, the beacon? Yeah, that's what's changing colors, are these different things. So this is amazing kind of engineering inside here. Oh, and there's the switch for that redstone. Oh no, that redstone is powering those beaker, beacons. So, wow, what, this is like a contraption, this palace. Yeah, it's almost like a machine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, amazing. What an amazing place. Super, super cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love those things jumping up and down. <laughs> yep, yep. And now we're on the roof of this thing. So right. I'm just going to zoom out here because I think like it's worth seeing like all of these castles again. This was, oops, this was three hours of building, you know, to kind of create this like amazing landscape of structures. I mean, really, the variety and the imagination of all of these is just unbelievable. And I think like one, one of the reasons that the Victoria Theater was so excited about like building a world and like having a, a server in Minecraft is because like you see such like look at on top of this one like we didn't even see this palace like this has a chess set built on top of it um so or checkerboard or something like that oh and you can see they they've written messages to us right hi so like that's the the really cool thing about Minecraft that I'm kind of like really blown away by every time is like they really understand like how you're gonna look at this world, right? So this says something here, I can't quite make it out, but but a pretty amazing, amazing like testament to the kind of creativity of our community. Cause I mean, again, all these are St. Paul folks building this stuff. Um, yeah. And yeah, really, really awesome. Okay, let's see if I can time set, time, oops, time, I'm trying to turn it, Time set night. Because I want to look at this place at night. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So this, you know, now you can see the, oh, yeah. the palaces that have stuff glowing inside them, like really beautiful. And I think like, I feel like ice palaces are cool during the day, but at night they turn into kind of like a different, a different place altogether. And you can really see the, the places that thought about that when they were building them. Um, yeah, what an amazing, oops, yeah. um, what an amazing thing. And let's see, I, I'm gonna go one more time set, time set, we'll set it midnight so we lose any daylight whatsoever and see what we get there. So now it's totally night out. And again, like what these beacons in the sky, which are, are kind of palaces just under themselves, right? Like those are, like what a cool, a cool way to kind of like show this is where we are, but also like really illustrate this whole world and kind of everything that's going on in it. Um, and they light the world around them too. So yeah. like, it's really a generous, um, a generous feature of a ice palace. Yeah, this one, the candy cane palace with these beacons. I mean, this is really magical. Yeah, and, uh, I, I don't remember if I mentioned in my presentation uh, that people watched, uh, you know, before this competition, if I mentioned the Harbin Ice Festival in Harbin, mm. China, mm -hmm. and if you want to see it, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful setting, and they create exactly what what all of you have created in in this world, which is just this setting and how all the things magically work with each other, and uh, you just need to check it out. Harbin, H A R B I N. Yeah, Urban in China. Harbin, China. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. Well, Bob, holy moly, you've got your work cut out for us, for you. Wow. There's, there's it's some amazing. Tips. I am so blown away. This is just phenomenal. Yep, yep, awesome. And thanks thanks for all your time and expertise in making all this happen too. And um, yeah, and, and sharing kind of like this love for this thing that is pretty unique to Minnesota and St. Paul um, and, and really inspiring. Um, inspiring everybody, um, you know, all of our artists, thank you very much too for this amazing landscape you've created for us. Well, I'm so. really excited that maybe one of these 25 people or so will be the next Ice Palace builder. 
And that's uh, something really important to carry on. Yeah, totally. Cool. cool. Well, thanks so much, Bob. Yep.